Turn up to this one, no heat and fault. Check the boiler, it's not doing anything. Program is calling. It's a Y-plan system, so let's whip out the 10-way. Doesn't look too bad. First, I'm gonna check for 240 on white. We're getting 240 on white. Next, I'm gonna check 240 on orange. 84 volts, that's not enough to fire the boiler. So it's the free port valve. Just the head. Whip the head off. Two screws. Get that changed over. It's on a Regan five-way connector. Makes it nice and easy. Get that rewired, it was a bit rough before. Get that changed. Plug it back in. Check for 240 on white. Check for 240 on orange. Board is all done. There's an explanation, a bit more in depth at the end. Y plan fault finding flow chart, no heating. Is there a program a display on? Yes, there was. Check heating set to on on the program and the room stat. Yes, it was. Was the boiler displaying a fault code? No, it wasn't. Go to the wiring center, locate cable from zone valve. Is there 240 on white? Yes, there was. Is there 240 on orange? No, so replace the zone valve. So that's easy to follow a flow chart like that but it's even easier if you understand it. So wide pan wiring sequence, switch live only, heating on. So we were checking to make sure there was power at the programmer, make sure the programmer was set to on. So then that sends it to the room stat. So is the room stat calling for heat? If it is, it passes through and then it sends it up on white to the zone valve. So we were getting 240 here at this point, like it said on the flow chart. So we've already proved that the program and the rooms that are fine. And then that is supposed to make the connection, but it wasn't. We were only getting 80, 84 volts on orange. So it was never gonna go back to fire the boiler. So the sequence wasn't complete. So that's why it's a zone valve at fault.